Hi, and welcome back to Bill's Cichlid Room. Well, after the auction a couple of weeks ago, it's time to do some more maintenance on the tank, some water changes, and trying to get some of the crap out the bottom. Um, but the, the tanks are actually looking a bit empty at the moment, uh, after me taking quite a few fish into the, uh, into the auction. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna try and pick out a couple of pairs of fish, uh, put them down, see whether I can get them breeding uh, over the next couple of months. Um, I'm actually going on holiday uh, like halfway through May or the back end of May and I'm actually away for three weeks so I'm trying to uh, do the fish room so it is quite easy for me son to look after because he's going to be coming down to feed the fish a couple of times uh, a couple of times a week uh, for the three weeks so yeah I'm not actually looking to buy any new fish at the moment so I thought just to keep the interest up if I can get a couple of pairs of fish uh, down see whether I can get them breeding uh, it's about eight or nine weeks till I go away so if they go down in the next couple of weeks uh, I'll, I'll have a chance of actually raising them and uh, making it so that they're easy to look after so we'll have a quick look around see what I'm going to do uh, and get on do the maintenance and try and catch them some fish Yeah, so I've only just put the lights on uh, so all the fish are hiding at the moment but this is the grow out tank with the cichlid, uh, with the chocolate cichlids in there so yeah it needs a good old clear out so I'll get doing that and what I want to do is put the Phyrichthys in here uh, the Phyrichthys Eliotti uh, as they used to be called uh, the Machipinus is the cord now so, so this is the Phyrichthys so if I can catch all these and put them into that bigger tank to grow on uh, I might be able to get a bit more size on them but that's going to leave this tank empty then uh, and the one next to it that's actually empty as well so what I'm thinking of doing is the Cryptoeros bilaris and the Cryptoeros cutteri if I can put a pair of those in each one of these it should be big enough for them to, uh, to actually do some breeding um, yeah so let's see how we get on so yeah put some sand down um, so what I've actually got when I'm siphoning uh, out the tanks, uh, I normally siphon the, like into the bucket. So there's a load of sand in here. So if I clean that sand out and I can put a little bit of a substrate in there, some plant pots and get it ready to set up. So yeah, it should, should do quite well. Like this is the other tank that I've got. Um, so yeah, I didn't need to do a bit of cleaning up in here, but these are all the tetras that I got from the auction the other week. So what I'm thinking of doing is actually putting the pair of Nicaragua Gwents in there to see whether I can get those breathing again. Um, so they're in this tank next to it. There they are, if you can see them through the glare. So yeah, if I put them in that tank and see whether I can get those to breathe. So that'll be the Nicaragua Gwents. The glare's awful on this tank. Uh, Try and catch a pair of the Spilaris. I was thinking about the the Phyrichthys Passionis, putting them in there, but I think I'll leave them. They, they've been moved quite a lot over the last couple of months. So leave those ones in there for now. And the Cutter Eye are actually in this tank somewhere. And since I took the, uh, the Fenestratus out of this tank, I put them in the auction. It's looking a bit empty. Um, yeah, there, there, are, there are quite a few fish in here, but you, know, you just can't see them, and just putting the lights on doesn't help either. But yeah, to see whether I can catch uh, the, the cutter eye out of this tank and put them in uh, to try and get them breeding as well. They actually, I think they have been breeding over the last couple of weeks uh, underneath this piece of slate here. I, I have seen some fry in there. But yeah, I haven't been able to pull any of the, the, the fry to raise. And the other fish to move as well, it's the, the Parachromus for the Starlight, it used to be the, the Lewis Selai. So I've got one left, and the other four actually did sell in the auction. So he's in this tank by himself at the moment. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking them out of there and putting them in with the Thomas Cichlidus Fracky and the Rainbow uh, Cichlids 
a bit of a risk because he is quite big but yeah he doesn't seem to be very aggressive and you'd be pleased to know as well the uh, the pectal fin uh, it's, is growing back quite well uh, if he will turn around <laughs> yeah he doesn't want to turn around does he but we'll try and get some footage of that later on Well, I think I've managed to get most of the crap that was on the bottom out of this tank. Um, the stuff that's in there now, it's just like in the water itself. So yeah, we leave it for a bit and then probably give it another little go a bit later. Um, so yeah, this is about how much water I'm taking out today. I, I don't want to take too much out because like when I fill it up with the cold water, um, like obviously the temperature would drop and because I'm putting like new fish in there, well, not new fish, but because I'm putting the Ferrichtes in there, I don't want it to be too much of a shock for them. So yeah, that's that one, like emptied. So we'll top that one up. I've also give the sponge filters a bit of a clean as well, because a bit like did they were like full of all the all the sediments. And um, yeah, so we'll fill that one up and then we'll catch the Ferrichtes. Yeah, so filling the tank up, so it's just the hose pipe uh, straight from the mains. Um, Sort of jam it on there so that it doesn't go everywhere <laughs> which i have had happen before as you can imagine and um, yeah so we'll fill that one up and while that's doing i'll get working on emptying one of the other tanks out well it's a couple of hours later now i've done all the maintenance on all the tanks caught some fish so where's the parachromis uh, the lewis celli fred the starlight so in with the rainbows yeah he seems quite happy in there as you can see, uh, this fin, this petrol fin, until he turns round. <laughs> yeah, it is growing back quite nice, which I, I knew it would do. Thomas Sickler is tracky. So he's wondering what's going on because this was his tank, or hair tank. So I've caught a couple of pairs of fish. So the light's not very good in this one, but it's a pair of spilleris, newly decorated tank. Next to it, the pair of cutter eye. So that's the female. Male's behind the filter. We'll get some more footage on this as the weeks go by once they settle in a little bit. So yeah, these tanks are ideal size really for, um, for breeding the crypto hero species. So it's a 30 inch tank cut in half or divided down the middle. But actually it's not, it's a 36 inch tank divided down the middle. Yeah, so we just leave these ones to get on with it and settle in. So this tank's not looking as crowded anymore. I don't want to fish a hide and... <laughs> it's the Coruleus, another pair of Spilleris. Another pair of Spilleris and the Passionis are in this tank. Well, next to it, the whole reason for doing it really, uh, the Nicaragua Gwens. So, yeah, they're in there with the different fish, all the tetras that I got at the auction the other week. The Priscilla tetras, the Black Widow tetras, the male hiding behind there, he doesn't want to come out just yet. The female, the colours on here, she's looking fantastic. Hopefully, they'll settle in and start breeding. Yeah, so that's the third pair set up to breed. Over here, have a quick look at the Nanolatus. So this is the fourth pair. Yeah, so the other fish in there, they, they were ones that I've had for a while. The Skull Creek Rainbow Fish. 
She had a nice looking pair. I was going to do a breeding program with them as the, like by themselves, but yeah, I never got round to it. <laughs> Yeah, it's about time these went down again actually it's been well it's christmas isn't it so it's been like two and a half months nearly three months so yeah it's about time they went and hopefully now the weather's getting a little bit warmer. the season's changed so yeah there is coming up to the breeding periods now yeah so the tank that the lewis salai was in i've given it a good clean out put some uh, the decoration in from the other tank and moved all the fish over when I was catching the cutter eye. Yeah, there's one of them. There's not much in there to be fair. Um, there's another pair of cutter eye and a couple of the female uh, Maneri, the Amatelania minor eye. That's all that's in this tank. So yeah, I have got some room for when we come back from the holidays and I can start um, getting some more fish in there. So the tank that they were in, yeah, it's just empty. So I'll switch the heater off. All right, so I've got that one empty. This one empty. This is the one with the damper. This is JK. So Jacob Fry is still in there. And the redhead top of just there in there as well somewhere. So the one below, so this is the chocolates and the fricties, so they should settle in there and do quite well. There's two neotropolis in there as well. Yeah, there's one of them. Yeah, so they should settle in there and do quite well. The other empty tank, I need to go clean that one. <laughs> yeah, so we're busy Sunday morning, so that took about three hours all in. Um, yeah, the, so all the water changes on the tanks. Uh, caught the fish, moved them all around, set some pairs up, so hopefully they'll go soon. Um, yeah, so quite a productive morning for a change. <laughs> Um, so yeah, hope you like watching the video. Um, yeah, thanks to everyone that subscribed. I've actually I've met the milestone now of a thousand subscribers. So I'll do more on that at the end of the month in the monthly vlog. Uh, and videos coming up. I've got quite a few questions now. I put a post up if anyone's got any questions. Do a Q and A. So yeah, if you've got any more questions, just leave them in the comments and I'll, I'll get to them. So. Yeah, I'll, I'll do that video in the week. I try and have a little bit of fun with it. And I'll see you all on the next video.